And an inspiring story for you now. Soldiers who lost limbs in combat, showing even more of their amazing courage and strength. Their team taking part in this year's Army 10 Miler. And our own Griff Jenkins also ran in the race alongside these brave and amazing heroes. And he's still in his running gear at this point, and he joins us now live from Washington. Hey, Griff, you know, your email today was just so cool because you sent this email out to the producers and hosts here in New York to tell us about this amazing run and how proud you were to take part in it. Who did you run with today? Let me tell you, Julie, I ran with the team called <coughs> Missing Parts in Action. 28 of them, all amputees or grievously wounded in Iraq or Afghanistan, and their team captain, David Roselle. This is the fourth year for him to run, and he's really got these guys out there demonstrating to Americans what true grit, courage, and bravery these guys are. You know, Julie, these guys aren't guys that want, uh, and women, that want uh, uh, pity or, or for you to, to feel sorry for them. These are people that want respect, and they want to show the world just how tough they are. And I talked to team, uh, team Captain David Roselle. Take a listen to what he had to say about his guys. I want them to see me and go, wow, those are some tough guys. Look at that. We may have shot them and blown them up, but they're back running and rehabbing and getting ready for, for war again. And that's really what this is about. I mean, these, you know, half these guys out here today even are all returned to duty. And they're going back to the unit. So this Army 10 Mile is just preparing them to go back to combat. Going back into the battlefield. Now, Captain Roselle, I'm sorry, Major Roselle was the first amputee to go back to the battlefield uh, and command troops again. And a lot of these other guys are intending to do that. Julie, it's running with goosebumps to see them. They were trained warriors. When they were sent into battle, they got hurt. They started a new chapter in their life. And now they're just showing all Americans, as well as the enemy, that you can't knock them down. All right, yeah, and you can't, you can't even beat them. Tell, tell everybody what you ran. And you ran a very impressive number, but nonetheless, you still did not beat this guy. Truth be told, it took me 92 minutes to run 10 miles, and that was two minutes behind Major David Roselle. But at least in my defense, Julie, my producer, Seraphim Gomez, was about 15 minutes behind me. All right. Well, congratulations <laughs> to you for running it nonetheless. A lot of people around here would think 10 miles. That's pretty amazing. Um, so thank you for, for telling us that story. That's pretty cool. Thanks. And also, uh, on a sad note, in fact, uh, from Arlington, Virginia, we did get information uh, coming in from the Associated Press that an unidentified runner who ran in that same race that Griff Jenkins ran in today did die uh, during the Army 10-miler race. Apparently, the runner collapsed at about 10.40 a.m., about 200 yards from the finish line. The runner was taken to a nearby hospital, the cause of death unknown, but a sad uh, finish for that one unidentified civilian runner today.